Hello, I'm Van Herndon, candidate for Stewart County Mayor. In my last episode, I introduced myself with a bit of background. I then shared my views on how Stewart County has been victimized by the loss of property tax receipts due to the federal government's annexation of our lands. I then discussed how this has inhibited us from developing services that would make us attractive to employers and businesses. In this installment, I want to introduce my family to you. In 1998, I married my lovely wife, Amy Wyatt, of the Big A community. We had been co-workers at Piggly Wiggly, and strangely, we were not each other's favorite fellow employee. Yet after I left the employee of Piggly Wiggly, we began to date, and on May 2nd, 1998, we were joined in marriage. Where I am the face of the family, Amy is the heart. She's always diligently behind the scenes, keeping the family on track and seeing to the details. All the while, she has maintained a career in the medical field at the various versions of Clarksville's hospital for 19 years. We have two children. Our oldest son, Wyatt, will be a freshman at Stewart County High School this next year. Our youngest is William, and he will be entering the fourth grade. Our children are very important to us, and they are an important reason I am seeking the office of mayor. In my last episode, I argued that Stewart County is lacking in some areas, despite being a great community. I submit to you that opportunities for our young people are very limited, and this is a threatening extinction for our community. Our schools do a good job of educating our children. We have had a great deal of raw mental talent live within our county and attend our schools. As a child, I rode the school bus with a person that would later go on to become a Ph.D. in physics. A pair of sisters that graduated a small handful of years ago from Stewart County High School have been described as potential prodigies. These are just two of the many cases where we have had some brilliant minds grace our community. However, I ask you, if they do not become teachers, should they choose to employ their talents outside of education, what opportunities do they have in Stewart County? I attended school with many of the teachers we currently employ. I worked with many more in my position as school resource officer, and I am proud to say we have a large number of fine people in those positions. Let me be clear, I am thankful for the efforts of our teachers, and I am glad we have them. However, my point here is this, we need more employment options. With the exception of the medical field and a small number of mid-level management positions in finance and manufacturing, we have far too few options for those with a higher education. This causes people to either leave the area on a permanent basis or at a minimum, leave on a daily basis. This holds true for skilled labor that does not hold a degree as well. How many of your neighbors drive to Clarksville to maintain employment? And While they may lay their heads down at night in Stewart County, are they laying their dollars down on the counters of Clarksville businesses by day, before and after work? The federal government scattered families like my own with the actions like the creation of the Land Between the Lakes area, sending branches of the Herndon family to Clarksville, Dover, and Murray, Kentucky. We continue to scatter families to this day because we do not have sufficient jobs. So what is the answer? As I alluded to in the previous episode, infrastructure would aid in making us more attractive to employers that want to establish themselves in our area. Another barrier we must deal with is providing an attractive workforce. We must work to provide the skills necessary for those that are caught in this catch-22. We have organizations like Workforce Essentials, a nonprofit organization that provides job training and other services to both the individual and area employers in an effort to put people to work. As a side note, and to further illustrate the talent we can and have produced, the president of Workforce Essentials is a talented, driven professional from Stewart County. There is also a current effort to bring a vocational training center to Stewart County by another group. There are those that have seen the need and are trying to provide services, but we need more. Our county government is not able to provide much, if any, monies for these efforts. 
and I do not think it is necessarily the county's place to do so either. However, I do, without hesitation, believe that it is within the scope of and the best interest of the county to lobby Nashville for grant money for organizations like Workforce Essentials to provide services to the fullest extent possible. I further believe that while government should be careful to avoid involving itself in commerce, it most certainly should make every effort to create a fair and thrive-worthy environment attractive to businesses for the benefit of the individual citizen and the community as a whole. This brings me back to my previous statement. My children are important. Your children are important. Once they strike out on their own, they should be able to make the decision of their own accord to stay or venture out into the world and not be forced to leave to find work. Our greatest resource is our children. To see a continuing exodus of Stewart County's children means that we are slowly losing our culture and any potential this county has for a bright future. Again, I want to thank you for your time. If you can identify with what I have said here today, then please share this post and share our Facebook page. We live in a great county, but we need to take steps to ensure that we maintain it now and for the future. I am Van Herndon, candidate for Stewart County Mayor, and I appreciate your support.